Hi. I am hopping on here tonight, mostly because my hair is washed and down, and that happens exactly once a quarter, maybe. <laughs> once every month. This is probably generous. <laughs> um, but I did say this morning that I was already kind of planning to hop on here um, because for a while I've been wanting to share, um, as I'm sure you guys have seen in my um, stories and um, various prayer means, um, that I, I have several books, um, books uh, of prayer and blessing um, that I draw from. And I wanted to share those with you guys as resources because... Um, gosh, there, there's just so much, there has been so much in 2020 and even going on still, um, that I don't know that I have words for. And there's times that I can't even find really the ability to pray, except that I know that there are words of saints who have walked this life, um, either, you know, generations before me, or certainly, um, even just years before me. Um, with a little bit more wisdom, a little bit more perspective under their belt, um, and or or a t entirely different perspective. So people of color and men and um, the, um, queer folks and disabled folks and just people that have a completely different perspective and experience than I do. Um, I I like to glean from the prayer lives of of the communal church. And so there was just a few I wanted to share here. The first is not really a prayer book, although it does give me a great um, source of meditation. So it is called Finding Mother God. This is all going to be backwards. Great. Finding Mother God, Poems to Heal the World um, by Carol Lynn Pearson. Um, so my hope is to kind of just share a little bit from each of these. Um... So this is like the first poem in that, in that book. It says, To Our Mother is the title. Remembering that Jesus named his father from the cross and said, Abba, Abba, why hast thou forsaken me? And remembering, too, that on the kibbutz I learned that even today children speaking Hebrew call their father Abba and their mother Ima. I am amazed to find in my balancing hands two balancing words. And the first speaking of the new word is this, Ima, Ima, why have we forsaken thee? Um, so, so much of this is about returning to um, our God as mother, to for not forget the feminine side of God. Um, and gosh, it's just, uh, I, I can't say enough about this book. It's beautiful. Um, so there's a lot that's really just rich for meditation in that one. Um, this is, uh, it's a book of blessings, so it is called To Bless the Space Between Us, um, a book of blessings by John O'Donohue. Um, he was a Irish teacher and poet, um, from the Celtic tradition. Something tells me he practiced the monastic life, but I could be wrong about that. Um, anyway, this book, it's literally just for uh, blessings for all kinds of occasions, for all kinds of people, for all seasons, um, for various callings and vocations, for various states of heart, um, for, I mean, so let me just give you an example of one that it's going to be, it's going to feel kind of like intense, but, um, But gosh, if it's not just, I mean, if it, the way that he writes is not so beautiful. Um, okay, so for example, for the breakup of a relationship. Oh, I just turn exactly to it. Okay, it says, now you endeavor to gather yourself and withdraw in slow animal woundedness from love turned sour and ungentle. When we love, the depth in us trusts itself forward until the empty space between becomes gradually woven into an embrace where longing can close its weary eyes. Love can seldom end clean, for all the tissue is torn and each lover turned stranger is dropped into a ruin of distance where emptiness is young and fierce. 
Time becomes strange and slipshod. It mixes memories that felt the kiss of the eternal with the blistering hurt of now. Unknown to themselves, certain small things touch nerve lines to their heart and bring back with color and force all that is utterly lost. This is the time to be slow. Lie low to the wall until the bitter weather passes. Try as best you can not to let the wire brush of doubt scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. If you remain generous, time will come good and you will find your feet again on fresh pastures of promise where the air will be kind and blushed with beginning. Oh, just the way that um, the way that he writes and sees into sees into certain situations. This one I always thought was particularly um, just a particularly beautiful book. There are so many blessings. I wish I could I could share with you guys right now, but it would just be me reading this whole book to you. So, uh, to bless the space between us, also beautiful. Um, and also towards the end of the book, it kind of goes through what a theology of blessing is and why why blessing is important, not just, you know, hashtag blessed, but, but truly um, leaving people in a better situation than when we found them, blessing them on their way and blessing them in their vocations, blessing them in their, um, in whatever state of heart they find themselves, whether they have been betrayed, whether they're in love, whether they um, have just, there's one to, uh, to the family of someone lost to suicide. Um, one who has lost their beloved. I mean, there's just, there's all kinds of circumstances that we can still enter in and bless, which I think is really beautiful. Um, of course, the Book of Common Prayer. Um, ours is, this is from my church. I was given very early on. Um, and I believe it is the 1979 version. So this is the BCP, 1979. Um, and there's a section in here uh, towards the back in the 800s that's just various prayers. Um, and so there's all kinds of scenarios. I'll give you some examples. Um, so there's prayers, you know, for the world, for the joy of God's creation, for all sorts and conditions of men, for the human family, for peace, for our enemies, for the church. There's all kinds of levels of the church there. Um, for courts of justice, for the president, for our country. For sound government, I prayed some of those um, on the sixth when we had the insurrection. Um, for social justice, for agriculture, for the unemployed, for cities, um, for rain, for those in the care of children, those who live alone, um, for the oppressed, for prisons and correctional institutions. I mean, there's just tons of of options in here, um, and then certainly the times of day also. Um, so one that I, I just particularly think is beautiful, um, this is also, it's a prayer attributed to St. Francis, so St. Francis of Assisi wrote this, um, but we have it in the Book of Common Prayer also. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Um, so one that's actually in the book, um, this one is, uh, it's called For Guidance. It's number 58. Uh, o God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light riseth up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices and that in your light we may see light and in your straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. So this is just a really, uh, another great resource and a beautiful, it's, you know, available on Amazon. All of these are, um, or your 
local bookstores. Uh, this is a rewrite, sort of. Um, it's called Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. It is primarily a, um, a daily, so all of the, can I just, how can I do this? Let me maybe do that. So it's just, um, you know, daily. Uh, and there is every, at the beginning of every month, um, there are various activities to submit to or to, um, to try. So this one, celebrating singleness and marriage. There's some that talk about contemplative prayer. Um, let's see, peacemaking. Um, so that I just find particularly, um, you know, it's good for just the dailiness of prayer. But this is also the one where I have, uh, I have posted before several um, but the blessing for a space, um, the blessing for the bedroom of a single person um, that starts peace be here in the name of the king of life. Hello. Hi to my friend that just joined. Um, so that is, um, that's that one. And I want to, the one I want to share from you guys, for you guys here, there's a bunch of different um, occasional prayers on here as well. But the one I want to share is called Major Life Transition. Lord, help me now to unclutter my life, to organize myself in the direction of simplicity. Lord, teach me to listen to my heart. Teach me to welcome change instead of fearing it. Lord, I give you these stirrings inside me. I give you my discontent. I give you my restlessness. I give you my doubt. I give you my despair. I give you all the longings I hold inside. Help me to listen to these signs of change and of growth. Help me to listen seriously and follow where they lead through the breathtaking empty space of an open door. Um, so that is common prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. There is also music in the back because it is a daily liturgy. So morning prayer, evening prayer, uh, and midday prayer. This one I don't use a ton, but it is the evangelical Lutheran worship. It's basically kind of the, the book of common prayer that they use for their services, the, the ELCA Lutheran Church. Um, but there is a beautiful section in here that has some, um, some prayers for healing, some prayers for um, just inter various intercessions. Um, daily prayer, let me just find one I'll share with you right quick. Um, Service of the Word, Holy Baptism. Okay. Um, yeah, there's just, I mean, the few pages, it's called Additional Prayers. Um, and some of them are re related to communion. Some of them are related to the church. Some of them are for various vocational um, ministries throughout the church, congregational life, missions civic life, um, government, justice, etc. Um, this same thing here, the social justice, the unemployed, the neglected, the poor, the oppressed, prisons, those who suffer for the sake of conscience, our enemies, stewardship of various resources, the earth, creation, care, etc. Various life passages, daily life. Um, but the one I, ones I want to read here are, are for healing. Um, health of body and soul. That's the one I want to read. By your power, great God, our Lord Jesus healed the sick and gave new hope to the hopeless. Though we cannot command or possess your power, we pray for those who want to be healed. Mend their wounds, soothe fevered brows, and make broken people whole again. Help us to welcome every healing as a sign that though death is against us, you are for us and have promised renewed and risen life in Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Um, there is, um, let me see, one other here, yep, in the spiritual life section. Um, the, Uh, da, 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 da. There's several prayers in here also that um, are, you know, St. Saint Francis, Catherine of Siena, Julian of Norwich. Um, but this one here is just, um, it's just a prayer for enlightenment of the Holy Spirit. It says, God Almighty, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
Grant us, we pray, to be grounded and settled in your truth by the coming of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. That which we know not, reveal. That which is wanting in us, fill up. That which we know, confirm. And keep us blameless in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, so that was the ELW, the Evangelical Lutheran Worship, also available on Amazon. Second to last, <laughs> I know this is a lot, the Book of Uncommon Prayer. Um, so I know I have three versions now. The Book of Common Prayer, Common Prayer, Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals, and now the Book of Uncommon Prayer. This is the one that um, that was sort of reimagined with more gender-inclusive um, language and things that are maybe not so difficult for people who have been maybe wounded by the church um, that it sort of allows us to reimagine some of those things um, so the one I wanted to share I mean there's and this is liturgies so it's not just prayers um, but there are beautiful beautiful liturgies in here again for all sorts of seasons and all sorts you know pet death god forbid and um, for women in menstruation, for after a birth, for vocational callings, all different kinds of things here. Um, so let me just find it though, the one I wanted to read for you. <clears throat> okay, so I, I have said this one plenty of times, but instead of what would be said normally as glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Um, the way Book of Uncommon Prayer would say that is glory to the one who brings all to birth, to love's embodiment, and to the sacred breath, primal, present, and eternal. Amen. Um, the... Uh, Okay, so this is, <laughs> this is sort of a rewriting, see if you can hear it, of the Lord's Prayer. Um, so this is really more out of the Luke version, Luke 1, 11, 1 through 4, but also Matthew 6. O beloved source of the river of my life, rain from the sky and wellspring from the earth, I cannot name you or contain you, but only delight in your ceaseless flow. Wash the world with healing grace, Touch the dry land and make it green. Let your fruits be shared by all, your harvest an eternal joy. May all who thirst make their way to you, and may all in need find their dry wells filled. And may all who fear life's raging storms be sheltered and guided to safe refuge. Amen. Um, and then here's another version of the same, the Lord's Prayer. Um, instead of saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, so it starts, O oh God, most loving of parents, residing forever in a blissfulness which lies beyond us. Your name is a holy mystery. May your power be known, your desire made manifest on earth as in your most perfect realm. Give us our bread day by day and release us from our bonds as we set free those who are bound to us. And keep us from temptation, rescue us from all harm. For your realm, your power and your glory abide forever, amen. Um, so there's a lot of good meditations, a lot of good body practices, embodiment, um, prayers and practices and, um, things like that. This one is the one I was waiting on to be delivered. So this one is from today, uh, that I just got. So it's called a rhythm of prayer. It is a collaborative book, but, um, sort of put together and edited by Sarah Bessie. Um, and there are, I love this prayer. It's called a prayer for when you don't even know what you want. <laughs> <sighs> Settle down into the silence. Close your eyes. Inhale. Speak the name of God that rises to your lips. Jesus, Mother, Abba, Yahweh, Father, God, Spirit. Simply let it be what it is. Exhale. Imagine God calling you by your name and hear God say to you, as Jesus said to the blind man who called out to him, what do you want me to do for you? Inhale, exhale, and answer honestly. 
Uh, so beautiful. Um, there's a quote at the beginning of this one also that I, I love um, from Anne of Green Gables. Why must people kneel down to pray? If I really wanted to pray, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd go out into a great big field all alone or in the deep, deep woods and I'd look up into the sky, up, 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 into that lovely blue sky that looks as if there was no end to its blueness. And then I'd just feel a prayer. So uh, those are the beautiful, beautiful books that I use regularly to inform um, the prayers that I bring to you guys, um, the prayers and blessings that I use for um, uh, blog posts and things like that, um, and also that I just write in cards to people or emails or um, blessing for their birthday and things like that. I'm going to close out reading the benediction from this book um, because it is, gosh, it's beautiful. God of prayers for parking spots and prisons, of hospitals and holidays, of anger and angels, of traveling mercies and tired ones, of decolonization and deconstruction, of wilderness and wander, of feasts and ferocity, of goodness and grief. We come to you today with our whole selves. God of our honest prayers and more honest silences, open our eyes to see and our ears to hear and our hearts to understand how you are already here with us. Mother God, gather us as a hen gathers her chicks and let us catch our breath for one hot second and remember how you hold the whole world in your kind, capable, wise hands, including us. Spirit, when we cannot part the weeds of our own traditions and old languages, when the old pathways of prayer feel choked with briars and thorns, would you make a path in the wilderness for us to find you in new ways, new words, new practices, new permissions? Would you meet us in the wilderness and set out a feast? We are hungry and thirsty. We are grateful for mostly every moment that brought us here to you. Help us to sink down into your love, to push our roots down into that marvelous love and be planted within your power and grace as we practice loving this world as you have loved this world. May we laugh harder because we have learned to let ourselves weep with you. May we see and know and name beauty because we have learned to bring the ugliness to you. Surprise us and startle us. We're open to all the weird ways you want to speak in us and to us and through us. May we be peacemakers joy bringers, truth tellers, status quo disruptors, wanderers, wanderers, and misfits to our time because of resolute contentment. Who never settle for the sit down and shut up life, but rise up in your she who the sun sets free is free indeed birthright of freedom. May we be the ones who come close to you because of our vulnerability and not because of our false certainties. Teach us to lay down our masks and pretenses you tore down the veil between us and the Holy of Holies. Keep our hands from rehanging that curtain. Give us opportunities to practice mercy and courage. This may backfire, but we're feeling bold right now. Call us to humility, confession, and repentance, even when pride feels more comfortable and superior. Teach us how to rest, how to abide, and how to light candles and be satisfied. Don't let us get away with divorcing our prayers from our politics and policies and practices. May we love our neighbors. May we learn to sit with you in silence and know it is enough to know you and be known by you and know ourselves. Teach us to pray, God, as you have always welcomed us to pray, fully human, fully yours, fully held, and fully loved. We will tell you the truth of our lives and of this world and we will listen to the truth you speak back to us. The truth of our belovedness, of your justice, of your faithfulness, of love. And say, let it be so, let it be in me. Amen. Um, so I hope that was helpful, any of that to you guys, not just maybe the prayers that I shared with you, but also just the resources. Um, I hope that you'll go out and get uh, any one of these books. They are all available wherever books are sold. So. Um, I think that wraps it up for tonight. Enjoy my hair that is down because it will be back in a greasy ponytail very shortly. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks and good night.